Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, let's take a look at this 2019 Land Rover Discovery 3 litre SDV6 HSE Luxury. And this is going to be a full, in-depth tour of the Discovery. We'll start it up, show the engine, as well as show a few of the features on the interior, as well as exterior. And before I begin, I'd like to give a massive shout out to the Junction Auto Park, located in Llandendo Junction, North Wales, for allowing me to come out and film this car. For more information regarding current inventory and contact info, please check out the link in the description below. And so... Without further ado, let's get it started up and let it run. This vehicle does come equipped with keyless entry. It's unlocked at the moment. To lock, all you have to do is tap the indentations on each of the door handles. Then after waiting a second to unlock, just touch the back of the handle. It's a light grey metallic exterior with black leather interior. has just over 48,000 miles on the clock. Fars right up. Leather wrapped steering wheel with silver accenting. has an 8 speed automatic transmission with sport mode and manual shift and when you select reverse brings up your backup camera with guidance lines and we'll go ahead and turn on the automatic headlamps front and rear fog lamps and the hazards. All four windows are automatic and we'll go and check out the exterior shall we? wheels LED headlamps you also have front and rear parking sensors Thank you. 
Let me know in the comments below about what you think of the look of this car. Personally, I don't think it's too bad. As a 3 litre V6 turbo diesel engine, puts out around 300 brake horsepower, does 0 to 60 in 7 seconds, and has a top speed of 130 miles an hour. Power locks, three person memory for the driver's seat, power windows, power mirrors, Meridian audio system. Fully powered driver's seat with side airbags. Perforated leather. Boot release. And we'll go ahead and hear she sounds. Does sound pretty good. Not bad at all. Dual zone, automatic climate control. Fan speed. Individual temperatures for both sides. Zone options. Rear climate control.
One touch automatic for both sides. Max front defrost, rear defrost, max AC, AC on and off, recycling, off altogether, and your heated and ventilated seats. Processing centre run by the UK, and there's only a certain number of them. If the cause is physical, then probably. Reception to that which was given to the Ukrainian. Two. The line of just killer, so as I say, near our country's. Decent sounding audio system. Pushing down. Sometimes when I talk to the woman, she opens her eyes and almost seems to speak with them. Perhaps I can learn to understand. FMAM, DAB Digital Radio. There's an interruption. Mrs. Rollsby, a woman of great size, a busybody and avid follower of Sned, a gossip and lover of Hellfire. She hails Hester and Bissett hurries off. I hear you've taken someone in at the parsonage, Mrs. Sned. What does Mr. Sned say to that? Hester is unprepared. Sound settings. I give you an answer, she replies. A quiet evening before Eve goes to bed. Joseph is engrossed in a newspaper. Phone. A brandy to hand. Nursey sits at the table mending. On the table is a model Mary. Navigation. Revolves when you turn a handle at its base. From its red and blue striped canopy hang three delicate boats. Eve is too old for it but sometimes toys with it when she's tired. Boats, says Joseph, briefly lowering his paper. Do you think, sir? Nursey looks up from her work. Destination. Do you think it's possible that a boat... You know what I mean, sir. She shifts in her chair. Possible? Well, yes, but entirely unlikely. I was told that after Jacques and I were rescued, no more were seen. Besides, we'd have heard by now. Controls for your rear entertainment system. He glances at Eve. Speaks in a small voice. Apps. Hard not to hope. Hope away, nurse. Such hopes are futile. Various trip information. They resume their activities. And Eve only partly understanding. Activation of your backup camera. To nurse's anxiety. Infers it's about Mama. <laughs> Seat controls. John Sned is a discontented man. The living is poor. Sourthorpe, a small fishing village of 700 souls on the northeast coast of Norfolk that no one has ever heard of. Frequently he complains of his confined existence, at the edge of the world, unrecognized. Two weeks later, the drowned woman is better, though not much. Hester tells her husband that she moves little and does not speak. And when she describes one arm as trembling and terribly, he says, good, which Hester finds unconscionable. She knows she must not judge him, tries to understand, cannot. Listen carefully to everything I say, Hester, as if I would dare not, she thinks. Ambient lighting. Mrs. Sned, the Lord has answered my prayers. At last, the name of Sned... 4 by 4 info. Not quite as I had foreseen it, but nevertheless, there will be recognition. Differential lock. He looks hard at Hester, daring her to question him. The woman is a sinner. The Lord has punished her by sealing her mouth and ruining her. Different terrain response settings. My work here in this benighted world. Comfort. This benighted village. Grass, gravel, snow. Is to warn of the dangers of Mud ruts. And for that, Sand. This woman will be of great and rock crawl. There you have your explanation to the village. The Lord has chosen us to give the woman Auto mode. and chosen me to show her as an example to the world. Hester spends as much time as she can. Low traction launch. 
who, although she moves so little and speaks not at all, looks as if with meaning. Often tears pour from her eyes, soundlessly, without sobs. And so on. As though she has no control over them. It's pretty much your standard Land Rover infotainment system. So it's pretty simple to use. A poor woman might begin to speak, and then her husband's vile plan will be wrecked. She is greatly cheered when she discovers the woman's name. Reading the story of Abraham and Sarah, Hester is aware of a slight jerk of her listener's head. She looks up and then... Parking sensors. Recognition in her eyes. And automatic parking. Her lips flicker as though she would smile when Hester repeats the name. Oh, are you Sarah? The fractional movement again, so that Hester can hardly resist kissing her on both cheeks. Hugging the woman as though she'd found her own child. CD player. At dinner, she announces her discovery. But you know no other names for her, or where she's from, or who her parents were. I don't know who your parents were. Oh, dear. Power outlet. The woman's name is not important. We might discover who she is one day. It is a beginning. How? Nobody has come for her. We have no... Hill descent control. Low range. Your DSC or dynamic stability control. Right height adjustment. And auto stop start. The woman is to remain nameless. Sea Change was written by Alex Nathan and read by Samantha Spyro. It was abridged and produced by Jeremy Osborne and is a sweet talk production. USB inputs. And now it's time for Call You and Yours with Nicola Beckford. Hello and welcome to Call You and Yours. Today we're asking, how are rising fuel prices affecting you? The war in Ukraine has had a major... Auto dimming rear view mirror. ...oil and gas markets. SOS emergency roadside assistance. ...today after the US said it was considering banning Russian oil imports, but fell back after European leaders set a more cautious tone. The EU gets about 40% of its gas and 30% of its oil from Russia. And there are no easy substitutes if supplies are disrupted. The problem here is less impacted by disruption in supplies, as it imports less than 5% of its gas from Russia. It would be affected by prices rising in the global market, as demand in Europe increases. Our oil prices have surged to more than $100 per barrel for the first time since 2014. And the RSC says that the average price per litre of petrol at UK pumps is a fresh record high of £1.56. The average diesel price hit £1.62. So today we're asking, how are rising fuel prices affecting you? Do call us 03700 100 444 or email you and yours at bbc.com. Audio controls, hands-free phone controls, cruise control, and your heated steering wheel. Okay, let's go to our first caller, Faye Dermley in the Faye's in Fife. Faye, how are these uh, prices affecting you then? Um, quite significantly. I've gone from having a little bit of disposable money to no disposable money. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. So what, do, um, what does that what does that entail? It, tell me more. Um, so I'm a full time student. Um, at the minute with a two-year-old mm. and I've already noticed like food costs going up. I own a car um, and it's cheaper for me to run a car than it is to get the bus where I live. Um, I just take my daughter to and from nursery and the, like trying to put fuel in my car it's gone from say £30 to fill it up from empty and it's cost me nearly 60 quid to put the same amount of fuel in right. and it's like hang on a minute <laughs> that's that's not right. That's that's not normal. And it's the little one litre old run around does me quite well. And yeah, the cost of that's gone up. Um, fuel prices, so gas and electric. I've got my renewal quote come in and it's going from £150 to £320. So over double for that. It's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. Goodness, let's break that down a bit then. So you, you mentioned thirty pounds to fill up your car. Is now that's gone to sixty pounds? Absolutely amazing vehicle. How far, you, how far would you get on thirty pounds? Let's go ahead and shut her down. Right, okay. Let's 
go and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we?
Same power adjustment for the passenger seat. Well viewers, it feels good to film something that isn't an Audi for a change, so hope you lot enjoyed this in-depth tour of this 2019 Land Rover Discovery. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did, thanks so much for watching, and peace out.